okay, in this video we will solve two questions from GMAT regarding the quantitative parts, okay? It will be two multiple choice questions from A to E. So the first one it, uh, we have in the statement that the maximum recommended pulse rate R when exercising for a person who is X years of age is given by the equation R equal 176 minus 0 0.8X. And the question asks, what is the age in years of a person whose maximum recommend, maximum recommended pulse rate when exercise is 140? So if we have this equation R equal 176 minus 0.8X, in order to solve this one, we need to change this pulse rate 140 in the equation. If we do, we have 140 switching R here equal 176 minus 0.8X. Okay, to solve this one, I will send this term to the left side of the equation. And remember, when you do this, we need to change the sign of the term. Once the sign is negative, if I send this term to the uh, to the other side, I need to change the sign. It will won't, it won't be negative anymore. It will be positive. So it will be positive 0.8x. And if you leave the term alone here, you don't need to put the positive sign here because it will be the same thing. So we have 0.8x on the left side and in the right, we have 176. This 140, I will send to the right side so I will change the sign of the number, it's positive, it will become negative, and you will have 0.8x being equal 176 minus 140. So this 0.8, by the way, you can write as 8 divided by 10, 8 over 10 in the fraction 4 times x, 176 minus 140 will be 36, and I change the form of the number from decimal to a fraction in order to be easy to just send this 10 to the right side this 10 is dividing if i send to the right side it will do the opposite the opposite of division it's multiplication so the 10 will multiply 36 and you just have that 8x will be 36 times 10 you just write 36 and include one more zero because it's what you do when you multiply by 10 just repeat the number and add one more zero you will have 8x being equal 360 so let the variable alone send this 8 to the right side it will do the opposite thing this 8 is multiplying so the 8 in the right side will divide the 360 so the result will be 360 divided by 8 let's divide those numbers i will put the dividend as 360 and the divisor as 8 and in order to solve, we need to put a number in the quotient here. And to begin this division, I will begin just thinking about the 36. And I need to find out how many times 8 goes in 36. Uh, look, if you put a 4 here, it will be a good number because 8 times 4 is 32. It's less than 36. For example, if you try to put a 5, 8 times 5, it will be 40 and 40 will be higher than 36. Can't be higher, just can be less or equal. It's not possible to be equal, so it needs to be a little bit less in this time. That's the why I will put a four. Eight times four, it will be 32, as I told you. And we need just subtract 36 minus 32, that will be four. And you just drop the zero here, we'll have 40. And now I need to find out how many times eight goes in 40. Eight goes in four in forty five times because eight times five it will be exactly forty and forty minus forty it will be zero when we reach the rest equals zero so you can stop and that is the result the quotient of this division it will be forty five and this is the answer from this question this person is forty five years old so letter B will be the answer let's go to the second one to finish the video, let me just copy the question, okay? Just one moment. I'm copying the question here, so in a... Okay. In the second question, and in the last that we will solve in this video, we have that the average 
arithmetic mean of five numbers, j, j plus five, two j minus one, four j minus two, and five j minus one, it will be equal eight. And the question asks us, what is the value of j? Okay, in order to find a, an arithmetic mean, we just need to sum all the numbers and divide by the amount of numbers. As the question told us, the numbers are j, j plus five, 2j minus 1 plus 4j minus 2, finally plus 5j minus 1, and we will divide those five numbers by 5, because 5 is the amount of numbers. Be careful, uh, because you will consider, for example, j plus 5 as, uh, as just one number, okay? So you consider this combination as just one number. So this will be one number. This will be just one number, just one, just one, just one. So as you can see, you really have five numbers like the question told you before, okay? So be careful about this. Uh, so we have this fraction equals eight because the question told that the result of the arithmetic mean will be eight. Look, this five is dividing in the left side. So if you intend to put this five to the right side, it will do the opposite, the opposite of division. Again, it's multiplication, so this, this five will multiply eight, and eight times five will be 40. So we have that the left side will be equal five times eight, that will be 40, as I told you. And uh, in this case, it's very good because all the signs in the left side of the parentheses are plus. Be careful because if you have, for example, a negative sign here, this negative sign will change the sign of each number in the parentheses. That is not the case. And because of that, I can just erase the parentheses and I will not commit any mistake by doing that, okay? So let's do, and let's solve uh, the final part of this question. Firstly, I will just combine the J's, okay? So if we just combine the j's, look, you have j plus j, that will be two j's, plus two j, two j's, plus two j's, it will be four j's, plus four j, it will be eight j, and finally eight j, plus five j, it will be thirteen j, okay? So combining all the j's, you have thirteen j's, and let's Let's combine just the numbers now. You have uh, 5 minus 1, that will be 4. 4 minus 2, it will be 2. And finally, 2 minus 1, that will be 1. Okay, plus 1, it will be equal 40. So we combine it all the j's, and we got 13j. We combine it all the numbers, and we had, and we got plus 1. Okay, equal 40. This plus one I will send to the right side. It will change the sign of the number. So it will be 40 minus one. I will put uh, just the result. 40 minus one will be 39. The 13 I will send to the right side of the equation. Once it's multiplying the J, it will divide in the right side. So let J, let J the variable alone. Uh, we by doing that, we get j equal 39 divided by 13. And finally, 39 divided by 13, it will be equals 3 because the triple of 13, it will be 39. So 39 divided by 13, 3, it's the answer. It will be this answer. I forgot to put the letters, I'm sorry. So the answer will be letter D, 3. And those are the two questions that I intended to do in this video. I will solve more questions in different videos in order to avoid this video become so big. So see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Have a great day.